Today in the news, the leaks showed that Nvidia borrowed from AMD's design and AMD is at a deep discount. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. In the last week or so, the company has been in pretty hot water. They got hacked by Lapsus, a South American hacking group, and they stole over a terabyte of data out of their systems. While this wasn't 100% confirmed by Nvidia the last time we talked about it, it looks like it is now. Nvidia themselves put out a statement saying on February 23rd, 2022, Nvidia became aware of a cybersecurity incident which impacted IT resources. Shortly after discovering the incident, we further hardened our network, engaged cybersecurity incident response experts, and notified law enforcement. They then added that they have no evidence of ransomware being deployed on the NVIDIA environment or that this is related to the Russian-Ukraine conflict. However, we are aware that the threat actor took employee credentials and some NVIDIA proprietary information from our systems and has begun leaking it online. All of this confirms the data was stolen in the same way the hackers said they did. Thankfully, Nvidia's system didn't get hit with ransomware. Anyways, after that, some leakers over on Twitter started to dig through the first wave of leaked data, and wow, did they find a lot of information on future products. First, we got Ada Lovelace, the next generation of GeForce gaming GPUs. We now know, at least from the leaked data, that there are five different chips in the plants. AD102, 103, 104, 106, and 107. Now that lineup was kind of expected, but what is very impressive is how much was packed into those chips. The highest end AD102 chip would have 144 SNs. Now that's equivalent to about 18,432 CUDA cores. Now that's if Nvidia keeps the same core count per SM as Ampere. In comparison, the high end Ampere GA102 chip has a maximum of 10,752 CUDA course. So we're looking at almost double that amount. Which reminds me, before the leak, this information was actually leaked by copied 7 kimmy over on Twitter a while ago. So very nice, Kimmy. You got some uh, leaker points. The second thing that popped out about the Ada Lovelace architecture is the insane amount of L2 cache on the chips. It would have a whopping 96 megabytes on the highest end. That's 16 times more cache than an RTX 3090. Just imagine, AMD was able to insanely increase their bandwidth with their infinity cache. I mean, sure, AMD has 128 megabytes of it, but it's also L3 cache, a significantly slower tier of memory. The amount of L2 cache on the Nvidia side does get smaller as you go down the stack, but it's still way more than Ampere ever had. I wonder if AMD will also grow their L2 cache for the next generation, or if L3 or their Infinity cache is the only thing they plan to increase on their GPUs. In any case, it looks like Nvidia is definitely taking a page out of AMD's book. Going back to the hack though, this information leak did come with some extra demands from the hacker group. They first asked for an LHR full unlock, but now they want a lot more. To meet the hacker's request, Nvidia needs to make DLSS and all of their drivers completely open source, and they have to do so through a free and open source or FOSS license. It's that or the hackers plan on leaking the rest of Nvidia's platform. I wonder how Nvidia is going to respond to this though. They're in a pretty tight spot here. I do expect Jensen to try to debate us like he did with Ampere. Maybe he'll half the CUDA core count and call them uh, CUDA cores with double FP32 or something. I guess time will tell. Moving on, let's talk AMD. So it's been almost two months since the company announced the Ryzen 5 5800X 3D, and the release window for the CPU is spring of 2022. Well, it looks like they're right on time. According to leaker extraordinaire Greymon55 over on Twitter, the chips are leaving the factory as we squeak, and the chips would make it to market later this month. But 
Will it be worth buying? Well, we'll have to wait for the reviews and uh, it will depend on pricing, but looking at AMD's own charts, it looks like it was meant as a gaming only competitor for the 12900K. If gaming is not all that you do, there might be better alternatives from AMD. Their CPUs have been going down in price a lot these days. The 5950X, for example, has dropped down about 200 bucks. The 5900X is also down $100 and the old the 8 core 5800X is now 349. That's the price of the 5600X when it launched. Oh, and that 6 core is now a reasonable $234 US. A perfect price for a budget gaming PC. The only thing is, all of the new CPUs are also coming quite soon, with Raptor Lake in Q3 and Ryzen 7000 in the second half of 2022. So what do you guys think? Take the discount now or wait? Let me know what you think down below. In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.